Hey y'all, it's Jordan here today. So I thought I would show you into taking in this uh, flyers patch. It has a lot of effects and uh, only the patches uh, come from all the Reason Factory sound bank if you work in Reason 6.5 or higher. So it's basically a lot of stock sounds that I found and there's a lot of tweaking that comes into where each um, where you need to duck the sound in case of uh, drums coming in. But uh, have a listen to the stock drums that I found for a dubstep patch and a flyer synth that I've made. So today we're going to be making this synth. Have a listen. Okay, so the first thing we want to do when we get started is to create a combinator. And inside this, we're going to create two blank Maelstrom patches. Click on the device and hold Alt and drag beneath it so that way we can create our patch. Now, one of the patches that I took is Noisy Wobble 2 from the base. Do do do. Wobble 2. Also, uh, when you start up these uh, manually, I'm, I'm sorry, when you start out with two Maelstrom patches, they're not going to automatically link to one another. So you need to flip it over and drag out the output A and B into the input A and B on the second Maelstrom. Okay, so for the second one, we're going to do a VS wobble base. Do, do, do. There you are. Now, if we hit the note, we should notice a difference. So we're in the right area. So after this, I'm going to, I'm gonna also go through this very fast and you need to keep up. After this, we're gonna create a compressor and we're gonna boost the gain up a bit and a threshold down and the ratio about to one. Attack, we're gonna also turn that down and release up and the output is just going to stay the same. So after this, we're going to create a M-Class Equalizer. Studio FX, Equalizer. Low Shelf, Low Cut, Parameter 1, take it about 200. Bring the gain and the Q all the way up. I'm sorry, gain down, Q all the way up. And second parameter, 2.5. Gain down, Q all the way up. And the High Shelf, Bring the frequency all the way down and the gain a little bit down and the cue off. Then after this, we're going to create something a little bit uh, different. We're going to go for a digital vocoder. We're going to turn it four bands, turn it equalizer, turn up the shift about three quarters. Let's see, what else did I do? Okay, after this, we're going to create a pulverizer. We're going to turn up the dirt and the squash a bit so that way we don't mess with things too much however with this device we're actually going to be turning up the rate make sure it's sync and turn it about 1 8 gonna turn it on a saw I'm gonna turn up the frequency about three quarters 68 percent that's good I'm gonna turn the the follower all the way off I'm gonna turn up this follow our frequency about 68 percent. I'm going to turn the threshold up a bit and the attack and the release just leave those the same and turn the release a little bit for the squash and the tone all the way yeah that's good okay so after this I created a scream 4 distortion creative effects scream 4 gonna turn p1 and p2 halfway I'm gonna turn it to tube Damage control 40%. Now for the body, I always like to turn it to E because it's the the least cabinet feel. Turn everything about halfway. Let's see. Ah. Oh. After this, we're gonna create another equalizer. M class equalizer. What did I do? Alright, so for the first parameter, turn on low shelf and low cut, even though we won't use them, but it still affects the sound. 
The first one, we're going to turn about 4,001 hertz or two. Turn that down, Q all the way up. And we're going to turn the second one all the way up to 5,000 hertz or so. Gain down, Q all the way up. Actually, that doesn't look right. Oh, I'm sorry. For the second one, we're going to turn it down to 625, about where it stands. Take the high shelf down, the gain a teeny bit, and the Q a little bit up. And then after this, we're going to create an RV7000. Take the dry wet a little bit off, almost before that uh, first niche. Take the decay down too. And after this, we're going to create a alligator. Now on the alligator, it's just a basic preset patch. It's a form. I can't pronounce this. Formantesque. And there we go. We've created our flyer synth. <laughs> So thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.